Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I have a Square Hue unboxing. That's right, it's that time of month. Square Hue has sent me my little happy box of three polishes. I will leave information for Square Hue down in the description box if you would care to go check them out. I've already cut the sides and the bottom open. My box was a little late this month, not crazy late or anything. Um, it arrived on the 5th. <laughs> I like it closer to the 1st, like on the 1st, but anywho, let's get started. So this year's theme with Square Hue, all of the collections are named after a dance. Um, so all of, all of them are following that theme this year. Let's go ahead and do the big reveal. Ooh, looks like ballet. I like that. That probably says some soft colors. We're going to pull the card out and close it real quick. <laughs> okay, so we've got ballet, and we've got our color swatch area over here. And we've got, it looks like, two high gloss creams and a micro shimmer. And I don't know how to pronounce some of these, so we're just going to skip them, skip that part. But as always, I want to remind you that Square Hue partners with lots of um, different organizations that help fight human trafficking and part of the proceeds from their profits go towards fighting that and that's another reason why I stand behind Square Hue. So there we go. There's our card, our beautiful card with a pretty ballerina on it and here we go. Let's get into what we're here for. The reveal. Ooh, I was right. They are some pretty light colors. It almost looks like a baby shower box, <laughs> but it's ballet. So this first one right here, and I'm going to go ahead and move the box out of the way. The first one right here is this beautiful dusty baby blue. I'm really, really loving that. They've got some of the most awesome creams too. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus. Oh, sorry. I'm knocking you all around. There we go. And we are going to swatch them and stamp test them, even though they're not stamp polishes. The next one is this awesome baby pink, and I'm a pink fan, so it doesn't take take much to get. But I don't think I have anything like this light. I've got some that are lighter, and then I've got a lot of more medium tone pink, so this will be a nice addition. And here is the name on that one. And then this last one is the shimmer. Ooh, ooh, that is so pretty. It's a micro shimmer. That is gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait to give them a shot. And there's the name on that one. And you guys will have to ignore the naked hand. And this one, there will be a video coming up soon. So I don't want you to, I know most people are, what's on your other hand? So, but I don't want to spoil it. It's, it, it's a teaser, but. We're gonna, um, we're gonna just let that be. All right, let me get my stuff out and we're gonna swatch these and stamp test. Alrighty, we're back and I'm going to swatch these in the order that I showed them to you, how we pulled them out of the box, and give them a road test. Of course, my friend Sylvia always says that they totally go on your nails different than they swatch, so. That is true, but that looks like an awesome formula. Very nice, very pretty. We're gonna do a first coat of this pink. And light baby pinks like this are notorious for being, you know, either streaky or patchy. But this one, I mean, it's doing pretty good for a first coat. I'm thinking we might be able to stick to the two coaters. Very, very pretty. And then now for the interesting green with the micro shimmer. Oh yes, this is this is really different. I don't. I've got one that's kind of like this. I think it's from New Bar called Baby Sprout or something like that but it didn't have any shimmer in it. Okay, so there we go. We have one coat of each. 
I'm going to set these aside and let them dry before we do the second coat. And while we're waiting on these to dry, I'm going to get the stuff ready for the stamp test. I'll be right back. Okay, I have got my Fabernail Scraper and my knockoff of the Big Bling. It's got the little crystals in the bottom of it. And we're going to be using that one today. <clears throat> and as always, I've got my little lint roller with the black chalkboard tape on it. So let's get started. All right, we're going to start with the blue one, the baby blue. And I apologize, I probably should have hopped on the internet and done one of those little searches where it told me how to how to pronounce something, but I don't have all that patience. Okay, I barely got it on the white, but it shows up really great over both of them. Super happy with that. All right, we're gonna turn it around to another image. We're gonna do that in the baby pink. And we will pick up, picked up beautiful. I'll tell you what, let's, let's do this the, the easier way, Tina. Okay, you can still see it over the white. It's a little washed out on camera, but in real life, I'm able to see it quite well. And it showed up really good over the black. Pretty happy with that one. And I'm gonna remind you again, these are not stamping polishes. I wish I had done this test with every polish that ever came in to my collection um, as they came in. Now we're you know, sitting at way too many polishes, so. We might have to go back and do them. All right, here is the green one that I'm so eat up with. And it also showed up pretty good over the white and on the black. It just kind of looks like white, but I think that that's, it's got the shimmer in it. So, you know, with some top coat that might really bling out. So let me get all this stuff cleaned up and we're gonna come back and finish those swatch sticks. Okay, I'm back, and I forgot to mention what plate I was using for my testing, and this is a man Messy Mansion plate number 20. Kind of hard to see, but that's the one I was using. And we're gonna go in and do these second coats of everything. Get these down here where you guys can see them. There we go, a little better. Alrighty. Oh, this is so pretty. Very nice. It went on very nice. It smoothed out really well. And now for the pink. Of course, it's a little streaky on that first coat, so let's see what the second coat will do. Hopefully, that'll be all it needs. Sorry, I have to pick it up for a different view. That looks pretty good. You might want to do three. It depends on your application. Um, I normally go kind of thin coats on stuff. but And let's go in with this last one, the green one. Oh, Tina's getting sloppy. Okay, there we go. They are all done. Let's try to see if we can get some better lighting and shots of these so you can see them. Okay, here we go. Is that baby blue? It's looking a little brighter on camera than it does face to face right here. And here's the name for that one. Beautiful, beautiful cream. And then the pink one, and I do think it really does need another coat just to make it more, 
you know, even. Of course, it might have been my my application that, that made it look the way it looks, but it's a very light pink. It's showing actually lighter on camera than in real life. And here is the name for that one. There we go. Get it in frame. <laughs> there we go. And then this beautiful green. Oh, guys, I'm just in love with this one. It's almost a whited out sage green or something. It's gorgeous. And I can't tell really on the shimmer on this. I, I'll have to see it out in the sunlight. And there we go. And that is all I have for you today. I appreciate you dropping by and hanging out with me. And that is all I have. So, thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.